everyone welcome to this video my name is Peter I thought that you would like to see today's grocery haul I just went to Audi um, and got back and I've laid it all out for you and I thought you would like to see what we got this won't be all our shopping we need for the next couple of weeks I normally shop um, usually every week but I do like a larger shop every second week and then the following week I do a bit smaller shop and this today is just Audi and also a couple of things from Foodland and a couple of things from um, like a sort of like a fresh uh, food market um, yes yeah, so I'll show you what I got so starting here um, I got some vegetables I've got a delivery coming from a um, like farm fresh market too that was supposed to be here today and it didn't come so I'm wondering what happened to my order anyway I have to chase that up tomorrow because it's out of business hours now but there's a little look at everything so I got these packet of noppers and um the it came in an eight pack of these biscuits and that was like the kids treat so they've all had one and then there's this one left um so yeah i got a whole cauliflower today i got a um, whole heap of sweet potatoes um, i got two um bags of avocados we go through a lot of avocados um i think this is a bok choy I got a baby spinach and rocket mix for my salads um, that I have for lunch. Um, a green cabbage half, um, two bags of onions. Um, I got some cos lettuce. We're going to do some burgers and we're going to wrap it up in cos lettuce as the buns this week. Um, I got some rice crackers. I think I got two seaweed. We've already been eating these and two original. So I got three punnets of um, strawberries. We've already eaten two and this is the last one. I got two punnets of cherry tomatoes, two limes for something I want to make, um, a papaya, a bag of green beans and this in here is two heads of broccoli. Um, I got a bag of snow peas and a container of, whoops, something fell over there, um, mushrooms and a bag of lemons that is all the fresh things that are from Audi so here I got two um, Lebanese bread wraps I thought they would just make some good lunches one day and I got two packets of sourdough bread okay so we got three packets of this new chocolate called raw um, after the kids so we had two kids on each night um, helping with the dishes and cleaning the kitchen after tea and after, and they're allowed to have one of these like mini chocolate bars after they're done so we keep that chocolate bar, bar supply stack so we've got three of those um, and a bag of Romy, Romo, Romeo um, I got a packet of natural macadamias I love roasting these in the oven with some salt and onion powder really yummy um, I got two jars of coconut oil. I use this a lot in my cooking as a replacement for butter. A thing of pickles. I got um, some pink lady apple slices in juice. And some pineapple, which is for on it for our pizza. Uh, I got this um, olive oil spray and three cans of baked beans. I like to have baked beans as like an emergency meal. Um, usually on a Sunday night so I got a whole stack of tuna um, the kids like to have these in like wraps uh, for lunch um, and then some anchovies Luke likes to put these on his pizza a big tin of tuna which I mix with mayonnaise to put in when we make sushi rolls I've got two bags of sultanas I've been making um, sultana cakes for some of the kids for school and so we've been using up a lot of sultanas okay, so I got two big bags of cranberries seem to use these a lot for um, snacking on and for muesli and for I made some muffins with them the other day there's a recipe on the back for yeah cranberry and white chocolate muffins I made those the other day um, so I got these are for Luke, salt and pepper cashews, beef jerky, and salt and vinegar peanut. 
Okay, I got a bag of raw sugar, which is, I also use that in baking a bit. Um, some wheat biscuits. A couple of the girls like to have these for breakfast, so I usually keep this stocked up. Um, I got a whole heap, I think there's about five oat milks. Um, I don't mind the ingredients of the oat milk from Audi. But I do get the rice, we also drink rice milk and coconut milk, but I get it from somewhere else because I don't like some of the Audi ingredients in it. Um, here's some just household type things. I got a bag of dishcloths, two things of foaming hand wash and two things of shampoo, conditioner and body wash for the kids, um, some more toothpaste for the kids, some nappy bags and disinfectant wipes and some like spray and wipe and a bag of toilet paper. Okay, over here is some more things that, um, this is this little watermelon didn't, is not sitting with the fresh stuff, but yes, I got this little watermelon. It's starting to warm up just lately. Um, it's one more month till summer and we've been enjoying having some watermelon lately. I got two jars of almond butter. I really like to have this, like I dip apple in it or celery. And I also put it in a few recipes that I make too. This is a big bag of um, pistachio nuts. It's quite a large bag. Actually, it's one kilogram. Yeah, all the kids like pistachio nuts. So I got two blocks of this 70% dark chocolate, which um, our kids like to eat. Um, and I have it too sometimes, but I do prefer a different brand that isn't from Audi, but I have it sometimes. And these, something new that they're, um, the kids wanted to try these um, cream wafers. We'll probably open them tomorrow night, I think, when they get home from school. I got two packets of quinoa, two bottles of maple syrup, and I think I got three bags. This will be like one meal and probably leftovers for us um, of this buckwheat pasta. Um, I've got another box of camel tea. Um, yeah, so I got these paleo bars and then I also got three boxes of these fruity field bars, um, three different flavors. This one's already, someone's already eaten some of these. Um, yeah, I think that is all the things from Audi. Um, I'll just show you the cold things. I've actually already put them away. I'm just sort of standing at the fridge showing you the cold things because I didn't want to get them all out. But um, I got this beetroot hummus. Um, I also got this um, cream cheese. Um, and this little pack of yogurts. Um, oh, okay. A thing of cream. We do mostly eat dairy free, but then I'm allowing a few treats to come back again. Um, some of the kids that don't have to eat dairy free were sort of getting a bit upset and missing their cream and cream cheese. So I got that just for those kids that can have them. Um, and then I don't eat any, any dairy at all. And then one of our sons has to have very limited dairy. Um, he usually doesn't eat cheese or milk. Um, and just, yeah, has like a little bit of yogurt. Um, I just got one packet of um, shredded cheese as like a treat. We'll probably make pizzas about once a fortnight on a Friday. Um, and I really um, was trying to use the dairy-free cheese and the kids just really didn't like it. And then they didn't like the pizza without the cheese. So I think I'm going to let them have this just as a treat. Um, I also just got one thing of butter to have on some people's toast. But when I make things like cake... Um, I generally make it dairy free and use the um, and use the coconut oil instead of the butter and I use like I usually use like coconut milk or almond milk as a replacement for the milk to make the cake dairy free. Oh sorry, you're practicing. Oh. Am I done? I don't know, have you timing yourself? I'm just showing the people what I brought in here. Okay, 
So this is my deep freeze and I've already put some stuff away. I got a, um, I think it's just a bit over a kilogram of chicken thighs. I was gonna try a new um, sort of stir fry recipe with that this week. Okay, so I also got some bacon, that's for our pizza and also a big two kilogram thing of mince and that is to make some um, hamburgers. Um, and this, this will be another meal. This is some um, hockey fillet. So that will have that frozen fish and vegetables to one meal. Um, on Friday and Saturday nights, um, we will have ice cream for dessert. So this week I got these um, lemonade paddle pops and then also these two sorbets because we're trying to not have milk as, as much. So we're just having sorbet which doesn't have milk in it and of course that's dairy free it's just pretty much all sugar really oh, in this freezer there's a few things here from Audi um, I got another bag of frozen mangoes the kids like to have um, like smoothies for breakfast really often so we go through a lot of this frozen mango um, and then I don't, what on earth okay there's an ushi in here and then we also got another one of these tropical fruit uh, which is nice and smoothie. I also got another box of frozen ra raspberries. And then, in, and then in this freezer, I got a pack of frozen blueberries. And then I think I got three of these frozen broccolis and a pack of frozen peas. Luke's behind me. Okay, so that is all the stuff from Audi. Now, I've got a few things from Foodland. I went to Foodland and got, because they have these really large packets of coconut sugar, and at Woolworths, they only have like teeny little packets. So I got two of these big um, coconut sugars. I like to put this in the children's cakes too. Um, and I got this from a like sort of gourmet market that has like fresh vegetables and also like gourmet products um this is for myself this is an um, organic sourdough and it's got rye flour and a little bit of spelt i do eat gluten free but i find that if i just have one slice of this a day um, i can tolerate it really fine and with my pregnancy i've been craving bread so much and i'm finding this bread um, but I'm tolerating it fine, this rye sourdough, so um, I really enjoy this. It's really expensive, so I just get like, I just get like one loaf and then I'll eat only one slice a day and um, it's just for me. I won't let anyone else eat it. Um, and then the kids won't eat, touch it anywhere, cause, anyway, because just the smell of like the rye bread toasting, um, they like hate it, so... That means I can eat it in peace and no one tries to eat it because they don't like it anyway. And also from the like gourmet market, um, I also got this kimchi. I'm really excited to try this, this kimchi. I really love to have this kind of thing on my salad. Uh, Luke really likes it too, so kimchi. Um, and also from that market. So I'm having this for my tea tonight. They make these um, Pose flavors of Asia curries. So um, the ingredients look pretty good. And so I'm going to have that. And I also brought their um, jasmine rice as well. So I got these to try for my tea and for everyone else. Wow, I found this family size potato pie. Um, there and I thought oh, the kids and Luke particularly are gonna love that so that is in the oven so that is everything from Audi and the um, and the um, like fruit mar fruit and gourmet market so um, I will probably I'm gonna have to go to Woolworths and to Foodland again and I have a delivery coming from um, the farm fresh market which is a couple of hours away supposed to come today and it didn't come so when that comes I'll show you that too okay so it is the next day now and I just realized that I forgot to tell you how much that Audi shop was so the Audi shop came to to four hundred and thirty five dollars 
Um, and my, my order came from the Farm Fresh Market, so I'll sh love to show you what we got. Yay. Here is all the um, fruit and vegetables that we got delivered to our door. Potatoes. Potatoes. So we got a five. Melons. Yep. Yeah. Mandarins yeah. and carrots. Yeah. Mandarins and carrots. Yeah. And capsicum and all other stuff. Yeah, that's right. So I got a, I got a five kilogram bag of potatoes. I think I asked for about two kilograms of tomatoes. And I reckon this is about seven kilograms of bananas. So I got three rock melons. These are on special for $1.99. I got four pineapples. And those pineapples smell really nice. They are on special for I think I think three no two ninety-nine each. Um I got about two kilograms of Granny Smith apples. Okay, I got two bag kilogram bags of mandarins. Um, a kilogram of capsicum, two one kilogram bags of carrots, three cucumbers, and these okay, cucumbers are in season now and they're really big. Um, I got half of this enormous watermelon, and I think every the thing that everyone's most excited about are these mangoes, and they're really big and nice looking. So they are. There's 20 there. I think I ordered 20. So, 20 mangoes. So that's all we got this time from the Farm Fresh Market. Um, okay, so the total of the Farm Fresh Market was $131. I still have to go to Woolworths and get a few things. I'm not sure when I'm going to have time to do that. Maybe this afternoon. Maybe tomorrow afternoon. I think there's 20. So, so yes, when I get back from Woolworths, I'll show you what I got from there too. Okay, so I just got back from Woolworths. This is what I got from Woolworths yesterday. Um, I hadn't quite got around to putting it away yet, so I just put it all out onto the table and thought I would show you. There's also some things in the freezer, but yeah, I'll just start here. So for cedar, I got cedar a little toothbrush and this little natural toothpaste. Um, and then I got these floss picks for the family. Wow. Yeah. So I got um, two boxes of tuna and beans and two packets of these tuna beans and pepper and some of the kids like having these for school sometimes um, and then I Luke and I also like having them for lunch with salad um, I got some vanilla essence for our baking and for our meals our cooking so for our meals I got some onion powder garlic powder and kajan seasoning I'm going to make this um, Kajan chicken stir fry dish that is a new recipe. Um, some gluten free soy sauce, some gluten free pasta, and I got some camo honey and vanilla tea. And this is green tea with chai. I like this in the morning and then this in the evening. I got two tins of coconut cream. Um, this was on special, so I got this, this hazelnut chocolate spread. It's very yummy. Um, I got two bags of pop, popping corn. We like to make our own popcorn and put olive oil and salt on it. I got some cacao powder. And I got four tins of fruit. I got two peach slices and two fruit salads, and we'll have them for desserts with yogurt um, a couple of nights this week um, I got some dairy free pizza shred and this is the cheese that I like to put on my homemade pizza and some sauerkraut and I got some flour here I got one little thing of buckwheat flour I already have quite a bit so this is just to stock up um, and this is I mostly use spelt flour for my baking I bake the kids cakes and muffins and biscuits and things for school so 
Um, I think I got one, two, three bags of white spelt flour and one bag of wholemeal spelt flour. Um, I needed some new patty pans for making muffins, so I got two packets of new patty pans. I got one, two, three of this almond coconut milk and four rice milks. And a bit of weekend fun, we, fun, we got two um, bags of chips um, and some chili chips. And we got two blocks of chocolate. Um, we ate one last night and then also this one we might, it's already been opened too, so there's this one. Um, and then this is the chocolate I um, like. I got lint 70% and two lint 85% dark. I've got a really nice chopped chip scone recipe that I love to make that I use that chopped up for. Um, and I also just eat a couple of squares here and there. Um, it's just a few cleaning things. I needed some more shower power. This is what I use in the showers and sinks. And we needed some more disposable gloves. So yeah, I got that. I'll just tell you what the total was and then I'll go and show you um, the freezer stuff. The total is, you probably can't see that, it's, it was $258.07. Um, and like I said, there's also some cold stuff too. So I'm just in my laundry and the dryer and the washing machine are on, so it's a bit noisy. But this is the, um, I got these plant-based um, ice creams um, with no, um, they have low sugar or no sugar because I'm actually trying to eat low GI. Um, that's a whole nother story behind that to do just because of my pregnancy. Um, I got this for Luke, Halo Top Mint Chop Chip. Um, and there was another Halo Top that we had that Luke ate last night and I also got that for myself. Um, Halo Top, that's a dairy free one, um, chocolate hazelnut. So um, yeah, I think that as this video has gone on I've had less and less makeup on and then today I have no makeup on because it's Saturday. And I'm in rest mode. So, uh, yeah, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Uh, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. And I'll see you next time. Bye!